this exciting video. Join us as we embark on a thrilling adventure in the highly anticipated game Bowser's Gate 3. Our current mission? To explore and murder the mysterious Goblin Village. So get ready to immerse yourself in a world filled with intrigue, danger, and epic encounters with many creatures. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more exciting gaming content. And get ready to experience the magic, the mystery, and the mayhem of Belger's Gate 3. Alright, so where we last left off, we went and walked into the Goblin Village and we tried sneaking around. And of course, Mr. Gale here did not pass the sneak when we got caught. Thankfully, they let us go, so we're going to go and explore this goblin village now. Spare me a moment, if you please. I have something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but... Needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but All right. just as deadly. Kind of condition? Is it contagious? Can it be cured? So you've been lying to me this whole time. Wonderful. Well, what kind of condition is it? The specifics are rather personal. But suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. What? The illness causes you to consume raw magic and we need details. What kind of items are you talking about exactly? Wouldn't that ruin the item? What happens if you don't consume these artifacts? Are you telling me you're addicted to magic? So he's a crackhead wizard that's addicted to absorbing magic? Um, I want any details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? I fail to see why you need me to help you with this. You're doing fine without me so far. Happy to help. Sounds like condition. No condition I've ever heard of if, let's say, you're fishing for loot. The only thing I can think of is maybe you got like a demon or a monster inside of you. That you have trapped in there, like just giving you your powers. Um. All right, I guess we'll invest in you a little bit more and see how well. Cause you've been doing good so far. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. I expected as much, don't worry, I'm happy to help. What exactly would I risk either of those things for a wizard I barely know? And at the end of all that, I lose a valuable artifact. No thanks. Honestly, that sounds terrible. I see no upside to this for me. Um... So, had you follow me because I thought you were going to be a good help to me. You've been helped so far. But now you need artifacts to go and consume magic from. And if I don't let you do it, it's going to be dangerous for me. I've already decided to invest in you some more. Let's see. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Let's just give it to you. We'll see what we got here. 
Uh, gloves of power, absolute bane, and melee hit, possibly inflict a minus 1d4 penalty to the target's attack, and rolls and saving throws. Sleight of hand, plus 1. Or, Kamira's locket grants its bearer the ability to cast dancing lights. Ah. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Yeah? Alright, donate. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you definitely have a demon or something trapped in you. Okay, buddy. Now oh, what? That hit the spot. Good for you. I feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep. Uh-huh, you see exactly what I said. Metaphorical demon. I hate to point out, but no Metaphorical, my ass. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Yeah, okay. Come on. I feel in better conditions than pleasant, to say the least. That sure. So Let's just you get continue from this. And Let's go. On the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. Mm hmm. But in time, all will be told. Sure. My lord. I bow to your boundless kindness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of bowing to me, you better be doing more to help me. All right, let's see. No traps, please. Skeleton. Oh, that's nice. All right. Um, you're sleeping. Alright, let's see. In there. Down there. Come back to that. Falsified web. Um, let's go here. Waste a step. I don't think I got a sneaker on anymore, do I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Waypoint. Right, right on my feet. Okay. There we go. Um. Ooh. All right, let me level up real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. All right, so let's see. Where are we going? Up there. Swift as my feet can carry me. Then we'll, we'll check this place out, and then we'll go over to. Oh no! Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel <laughs> sells our feast. Besides. Tastes like pork. I like the and reference to Lord of Rings in this. this. Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. No such brand. So then, uh, that would be food. He's gonna attack me. I don't really want to deal with that. Looking for an ogre or deception. I get plus three from charisma and deception proficiency. Um, 
do this one. And then just in case, we'll add on another bonus. Didn't need it, but that works. Regrettable that your meat must nice, go that works, unsavored. okay. Food? No, not food. food. Not food. Friend. Alright, Finding Nemo. Alright, do you require the articulate auger? I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. Let's see if you owe it or less. You require the articulate auger. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? So you only go for the unique things and it makes you smart? Okay. Um, unless you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. Working out the for you so far. Understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. What do you have to do with gold? And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. <laughs> All right. Let's forget goblins. You should be fighting for me. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Deception. Thousand gold after you fight for me. Persuasion. I'll pay you in the flesh of the fallen. You have your fill. I've changed my mind. Because I don't really want to go and actually have to pay you. Oh. Okay. He's behind. 12. Okay. 15. 16. 18. Ah, uh, no. Fuck. A slip of the tongue. You meant to make a better offer, surely. Can I redo it? No. All right. Oh, but you do love to tease. Alas, not so much as a nibble. Almost had him. That would been great food. to have them on my side. No, not food. Seems like a good moment to talk. Temptation knocks. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Try it again. Oh. Oh, but you do love to tease. Oh. Hoping I actually be able to do that again. All right. Right, I wanted to go. Where was it? Yeah. It really sucks. I wanted to go and recruit them to fight for me, but I guess that won't happen this time. Maybe next game through. to fly stop this thing uh oh <laughs> flap those wings some more and i'll feed you a worm and you hope you got a stomach for rights mm. what's it bloody look like 
We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Yeah, okay. Raise that. Why are you doing this? I want to fear what's my past. Release the gnome at once. Why are you doing this? Because it makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, runs over. Release the gnome at once. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Protect your spots. Thank God. All right, so what's he thinking? I ain't got much stomach for a fight. Better just put on a show and scare this one off. All right, so let's intimidate you then. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, nat 20. Natural nat 20. Let's go. The goblin's nostrils flare, Natural as if is trying to judge flare. you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to- I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. All right then. Fresh meat. Scared meat. Yes. All right. So how do we get him down? Go in here. Uh, doesn't seem like it. What's, What's this? Here? Ooh, some armor and some gold. I'll take that. That's great. Auto rack, nothing. Whisker basket, rhyme, blue cheese, no thanks. Backpack, smoke powder satchel. Smoke powder satchel explodes when ignited, damaging everything in the vicinity. Ooh, that'd be good for like traps. Right. Sure. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. As far as like help stop the thing up there. Up sack. Holy cheese. Okay. Go back upstairs. I'll give it a shot. What are we gonna do? How do we stop it? Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. What's wrong with you? We we should keep moving. Here's a little bit of hindrance for us. No, no, it's another episode. Why is this happening to you? You already know as much as I do. Best ignore it. As long as it doesn't hamper us too much. Get this guy down from this windmill. Alright, where are we gonna go? Door goes in. Those switches. Hey, those are switches. Alright. Um break lever. Release it. If I release it. Doesn't that just like swing let it swing? Right? So let's do the break. There we go. Let's get out of there. This way. Yeah, let's get him down. Cut me loose. It's a little rude. Please, you could have added, you know, at least said please. Well, get 
get on with it. Whatever you are. On with what? You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? No, you don't Nothing. owe me anything. Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've right, lived but in if Baldur's that's where you're from, that's where you live, it's I'm in search of where you're going to be. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. All I right. always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. You're an awful dude, aren't you? Oi! Stand back! Where'd you come from? The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Yeah. And then 15, yeah, we'll add this in. Oh, heck yeah. Let's do it. Then what you standing here for? The true souls are inside the temple. You're the one that stopped me. What are you Go talking on, about? Up to. Ain't no one of them I'd like to keep waiting. Well, you're making them. You know what? We're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that one. Excuse me. What's going on? Hear my voice. Obey my command. Um, no, thank you. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Good for them. They their search for the prison. And you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. Oh, what the hell? I thought you didn't know what the artifact was for. So you gonna explain that to me? Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. No, 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 no. That's an unusual artifact you have there, Shadowheart. 
A most unlikely protector. Yeah, what the hell? I guess I'm explaining it first. Yeah, what is it? The thing you have. The vision of the voice, what was it? Powers of the powers. Yeah, you yeah, tell me what's going on Not with this. Exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. Please. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I and... can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. You could have just said Let's that in continue. the beginning. You worship Shah. Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. Why me? How are we gonna keep this secret? I don't care. You worship Tony with our family. Agree to jump. Yeah, your faith is of no concern to me. True. You should have just told me this from so the beginning. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Yes, yes, you should have. Gladly. In the future, you gotta be more honest with me about that shit. How about you? Sounds like they captured themselves a bard. Can't fill the front row. Hmm? Not as we dare with, with fragilous crown and with scepter of braid. Draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So. Raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you gallant. <laughs> you, move off! Do as she says, now. <clears throat> uh, no. Just enjoying it as much as you are. Why don't I leave? That a friend of yours. I don't even so know him. Not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, Why the heck are you so nervous I, now? Uh, draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um, you broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We pay. We. Uh, Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Look what I've done. Uh, I'm just uh, watching you do your thing. My name's Gribble, idiot. You're the one that got all fucking nervous for no reason. Let's hope we I guess we're just gonna save him. Once the world starts singing, we'll know who sent them. I might be will pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. I wasn't intent. Oh, no, I. Boy! Stop the mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. You here to see Priestess Gut? She's bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. 
Oi, so much fun. Oh, vile idolatry. Makes my stomach turn. For once, the goblin's decorations are an improvement. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. To you. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Take him, Bruce. Bring him. He's the. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for... Delaying for. Can't we just swarm them? Seems like a good moment to talk. Outflank, outsmart. Let's end this.
blood comes easy these days. Shall be done. to keep going. Need any advantage I can get?
hunt for Take two now. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. No, I'm pretty way, sure it was I you. Thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? What are you doing? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. Mm, yep. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. Right. How is this possible? <laughs> I don't really know, dude. Maybe... Class was interrupted? But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've yes. been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. Okay. And it's where you'll find your cure. No, this is different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. All right, well, then tell me what you've learned about the tadpoles. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Will you come with me? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. Yeah. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my growth. I need you, definitely. The natural I need someone that must be protected. Be a tank for sure. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. All right.
Yeah, I'd rather have you by my Be side. Warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. That's fine. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion yeah, when approaching but the goblin leaders. Yeah, I don't do leaders. very well. I d I've been trying to do this for a while. I haven't been doing very well. But with your help, I think I can so actually it. do it. May Sylvanas lend us nature's fury. Where are you going? We have work to do. Enemies to kill. I'll wait here. Just know that you're gambling with the Grove's very existence. Hello. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That. that can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. I came just in time. My guardian, why are you here? You are transforming. 